Good afternoon and welcome to episode 12 of How to Increase Your Donor Base in 20 Days. My name is Mandy Pierce. I'm the owner of Funding for Good and we are at our home offices here in Hickory, North Carolina. So today is going to be really short because I am not an expert at um, direct mail, but one way that I work with clients a lot and that a lot of people even that I don't work with um, grow their donor base is through an annual acquisition mailing. Most of the time you do that through a direct mail company because you will need to purchase a very specific list of new folks that are not currently donating to your organization. And you'll often cull that list and have it created based upon your geographic area, people of a certain demographic. Um, you know, if you're working with a food pantry, for example, maybe your demographic donor is typically an, a female, who is involved with her church between the ages of 40 and 65, living within a 10 mile radius of your organization's address. So then you go and you provide the donor list you currently have with to a company and then they will create a list of other um, target households, ideal prospects for your organization. And then you will do a direct mail to that group in hopes of an average return investment for an acquisition mailing is around 2%. And so, you know, you're gonna send a quantity of these out, probably like three or 5,000 at least, um, in hopes of acquiring some new donors. And then the purpose of that is to add to your donor list, but you need to have a very specific way that you are going to steward those folks as they join your organization and your community of donors. So if you don't currently have any direct mail as a part of your organizational development plan, one of your diversified funding streams could be um, that a lot of people do their acquisition mailing in the fall. So I would encourage you to reach out to a direct mail company that you're comfortable with or maybe talk to another organization in another state or that you're familiar with who works with a direct mail company and see who they would recommend and think about adding that and figure out what the cost would be for your organization to add that. If you can't do it in this year's budget, definitely look at the possibility for next year. So that's another idea, day 12 of how to grow your donor base in 20 days. Check back in with us tomorrow for day 13.